ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده لا فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام وبركاته عليه يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجال كثير والنساء واتقوا الله الذي تساعدون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله عز وجل وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم أما بعد ونصر الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا من الذين يستمعون قولا فيتبعون أحسنا اللهم آمين أيها الأخوة والأخوات، in our day and time, we are faced with trials and tribulations. We are faced with trials and tribulations from Allah Taala. These trials that stem from the ghulat, from Ahl al-Bid'ah wa Ahwa wa Ahl al-Zayr, from the people of innovation, from the people of lust and desires. Those who have committed crimes, those who have deviated in the name of Islam, in the name of the work of Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala, and in the name of the Sunnah Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, those who have adopted a methodology, a methodology Abdullah wa Matullah, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has prophesied about, a methodology of the Khawarij, a methodology of the Khawarij, those as there in Iraq, name ISIS, those as there in Iraq, those who carry the methodology of the Khawarij, of the Qutubiyya, of the Suruliyya, 
of those who do, upon your habiyun, those who commit terrorism in the name of the book of Allah wa ta'ala. In the name of the Sunnah Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nabiyyina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has spoke about the Ja'abdullah as he fit during the time of the Khalisra when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he has mentioned he nama ja'ah the Khalisra wa qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam i'da ya Muhammad wa qala li nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam i'da ya Muhammad fa inna kalam ta'adil when he said be just O Muhammad for indeed you're not just وَقَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَيْلَكْ فَمَنْ يَعْدِلْ إِذَا لَمْ أَعْدِلْ So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, Woe to you! Who was just? Who was most just if I'm not just? وَلَمَّا الْوَلَّهَ الرَّجْلِ When this man, when he turned away, when the Kharisa, when he turned away, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, when all the prophesied, he said, From the descendant of this man, from the descendant of this man, قَوْمٍ تَحْقِرُونَ صَلَاتِكُمْ إِلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ وَعِبَادَتُهُمْ إِلَى عِبَادَتِهِمْ وَيَقْرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ وَلَا يَتَجَاوُسْ هِنَا عَجِرْهُمْ وَيَمْرِقُ مِنَ الدِّينِ كَمَا يَمْرِقُ الزَّهْوَ مِنَ الْرَمِيَّةِ فَأَيْنَمَا لَقِيْتَمُوهُمْ فَاقْتَلُوهُمْ فَإِنَّا فِي قَتْلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ لِمَا قَتْلَهُمْ وَرَبَّ that your salat will be insignificant towards your salat. And your ibadah will be insignificant towards your ibadah. And they will read the Quran. It will not go beyond their, their collarbones. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went on to mention. He went on to mention, Ya Abdullah wa Ahmadullah. Ya Mrikum min al-Din. That they will exit from their religion like the arrow exits to his, to his target. Fa'ina ma aqlit laqaytamuhum. So whoever meets them, kill them. For verily killing them, there's a reward in killing them. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he shows us the evil of the khawarij. And he mentioned of the khawarij, that it was shurr al-khalq, the most evil of creation. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he called them kilab al-nar. He called them the dogs of the hellfire. Those with this methodology, Abdullah wa Those who want to cause fahisha, cause lewd acts upon the land, killing innocent Muslims, Innocent, 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 kuffar on the name of the book of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and in the name of the sunnah Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi kareem inna al-lazhin yuhibbuna abda shi'a fahisha fi al-lazhin amanu fi al-lazhin amanu lahum adhabu al-alim fi al-dunya wal-akhira wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamu Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran really those who like the crime of illegal sexual intercourse to be propagated amongst the believers but for them, it's a painful chastisement in this dunya and the akhirah. And Allah knows and you do not know. وَقَالَ عُلَمَاؤُنَا The ulama of Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah, they explain, Ya Abdullah, كُلُّ شَيْءٍ تَجَاوُزْ حَدَّهُ فَهُوَ فَاحِشَ Everything that perceives the limit, يعني the commandment of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, then it's fahisha, then it's lul aqsh, Ya Abdullah wa Amatullah. So now for a surety, those individuals from the khawarij, from ISIS, they spread this methodology of killing innocent people. They spread this methodology of burning innocent people. They spread this methodology of taking over lands, frightening the Muslims. When Nabi Muhammad وسلم, has prohibited for us to even frighten a Muslim, Ya Abdullah, let alone kill them. When the Prophet وسلم, he said, La yuhillu Muslim and you ru'a Muslim. That it's not permissible for a Muslim to even frighten a Muslim. To even frighten a Muslim. So how much more taking a sword or taking a knife and beheading the mu'mineen and beheading the believers. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem. Wa man yaqtil mu'min muta'amidan fa jazaahu jahannam wa khalidina fiha. Wa ghadab allahu alayhim. Wa la'anatu allah. Wa la'anatuhu. Wa addalahu al-azab al-azim. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَقْتِ الْمُؤْمِنًا مُتَعَمِّدًا Whoever kills a believer intentionally, فَجَزَاءُهُ جَهَنَّمَ خَارِدِينَ فِيهَا Then his jaza and his reward be jahannam. وَغَضَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ And the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal is upon him. And the la'na and the curse of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is upon him. وَعَدَ اللَّهُمْ دَعَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ And there will be a painful chastisement. 
there will be a painful chastisement that awaits them. So even killing a Muslim, Ya Abdullah wa Matullah, muta'amidan, then his, his reward will be Jahannam to abide in Ya Abdullah wa Even to kill the innocent Kafir is, 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 is from Kufr. Even to kill the innocent Kafir, Ya Abdullah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned, he mentioned the Hadith, for those, there's this so-called Sharia, this so-called Sharia that ISIS is bringing forth, this legislation of Sharia, Wallahi, the legislation of Shaitan, is not the legislation of Allah Ta'ala. They are killing innocent Kafirs, the Dhanni, the Muahid, the one who has the so-called contract underneath this so-called government. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned, مَا قَتْلَ مُعَاهَدْ لَمْ يَرْحَ رَاحِهَا الْجِنَّةِ وَإِنَّ رِحُهَا يُوجِدْ مِنْ مَصِيرَةٍ أَرْبَعِنَ يَوْمًا The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Ya Ikhwah, he said, whoever kills the Muahid, whoever kills the one has a contract underneath the Muslim, that he will not smell the fragrance of Jannah. He will not smell the fragrance of Jannah, whose distance is like 40 days, whose distance of 40 days, Ya'ani, this is Matadarish Ya Abdullah wa Matullah. That's contrary to the book of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Contrary to the Sunnah of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are here to refute this in the these individuals of ISIS. Hadha wa ma'ayni wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa barakha wa nabiya Muhammad. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على النبي محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم ما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم قل إن كنت تحب الله فاتبعوني الله تبارك وتعالى هي مجلس القرآن Say if you love Allah, يعني then follow me. Meaning follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As the ulama of Ahl al-Sunnah, Ibn al-Jama'a, they mention that this particular ayah is an ayah of imtihan, is an ayah of test. So we find these individuals, these ghulat, these extreme individuals, that they kill and they murder underneath of loving Muhammad bin Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Underneath of following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Underneath of loving Allah tabaraku wa ta'ala. So we say, if you love Allah, then follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As I was Shaykh, Shaykh, Mah Shaykh, Shaykh Hasna Banna, Hafidhullah ta'ala, he mentioned, that he mentioned his hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is well known for amongst us. When the Jew came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yani death be upon you, O Muhammad. Samu alaykum, death be upon you. And our mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she became mad at this Yahud. She became mad at this Jew, saying that death be upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So she responded to him, and out of her angerness, being angry at this individual. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Given in another damage of Nabuwa, and we find these Hulat that was there in France killing innocent people because they made cartoons of the Prophet. Here we have a man speaking right out to the Prophet. Salamu alaikum, death be upon you. So, what the Prophet say to Aisha? Mahlan, Mahlan, ya Aisha, be easy, Aisha, be easy, take it easy, Aisha, just say, alaikum, and on to you. This was the methodology of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We didn't find the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, Go get Umar, we will chop the head off the Jew. But rather, he said, Mahanin ya, ya Aisha, just say alaykum. This is the methodology of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the Khawarij, those from the Khawarij, from their sons, that they don't understand the book of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. They don't understand the Sunnah Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They don't return to the Ulama of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah. They have no scholars to support them. They have no scholars to support them. So they act upon their hawa. So they take innocent people as they did this pilot there in Jordan. This pilot that was from Jordan took him and killed him and burned him. 
and burned him, Ya Abdullah. Nabi Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Like you had to be nar, illa rupin nar. No one kills, no one punishes with the fire except for the Lord of the fire. This is from the idea of the ibadat. This is from the methodology. What distinguishes Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah from Ahl Bid'a wa Ahwa wa Ahl Zayd is that our Aqeedah and our methodology is Tawqifiyya. We are upon the Nusus, the Book of Allah wa Ta'ala. The Sunnah Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Fahma Salaf al Ummah. We say to those Khawarij who is just Salaf who has preceded you in these killings. We are free from them and they are free from us. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us far away from that methodology, the methodology of the Khawarij. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who are upright upon the Sunnah Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who make dhifa on an Islam, that we defend Islam. We stand up in the face of the Khawarij, those cowards that cover their faces like the women cover their faces with their niqab. هذا وما عندي وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وأقيم الصلاة